Although it's one of the best feelings to take down one of the big beasties of Monster Hunter World solo, that feeling only intensifies when you're standing over the recently deceased carcass, collecting its skins and innards with your best pals. And that's possible in Monster Hunter World. In fact, you can play and hunt with up to three of your friends, but it's more difficult than you'd expect for a game released in this century. But don't worry, I'm here to make the whole process a lot easier in three simple steps. Number one, get yourself online. Start up the game as normal, making sure that you put yourself in an online session. You can either create your own or just join one of the quick matchmaker ones instead. If you want to make sure it's just you and your pals playing, we suggest creating your own online private session to begin with. This creates an online lobby with just you in it. You're then free to invite your pals as you so wish. Number two, invite your friends by going to the pause menu. To actually invite a friend into your game, hit the pause button and then head over to the communication tab. Go all the way down to invite a friend and then your normal PS4 or Xbox One friend overlay will appear as it would in any other game. But here's where it gets a little bit more complicated. You might think that once you've invited them in, your friend would then appear in game next to you complete with Palico. Well, not quite in Monster Hunter World. They are in your game, but you won't see them until you head into a quest or into the gathering hub on the fourth floor. It leaves you free to sort out your inventory between quests and expeditions, but will leave you feeling like it's not quite the multiplayer game you want it to be. 3. Post a quest on the quest board. When you are ready to start a co-op hunt, you'll need to head down to the quest board. Go to post a new quest and then pick whatever you want to do. You'll be given the option to change the number of players from 1 to 4 and even put a passcode on your quest if you're in an open lobby and don't want some unknown hunter jumping in. If you want to jump into someone else's quest, go to the join a quest option on the quest board and then see what your pal has posted. It's then just a case of waiting for everyone to be ready to start the quest and launching off to kill some beasties. But we will say that there are a few things to note when you're playing online with your friends in Monster Hunter World. Your hunter levels matter in multiplayer. You need to be aware of your various hunter levels before even thinking about doing a quest together. If one of you is a level 3 hunter and you're trying to join a level 5 hunt, it's not going to work. The higher level hunter can join a lower level hunt to help out, just not the other way around. The same goes for story missions. You can't jump forward in the story to fight a monster you're not prepared for, but your friend can jump back into an earlier mission if you post the quest on the board. Be aware of the cutscenes rule. Even if you've already completed the story mission, you'll have to wait until the other player has watched all the cutscenes or at least completed the pre-monster part of the quest before you can jump in and help. You'll have to stare at the quest board until the other player has reached that section, at which point they'll be notified that they can launch an SOS flare. That's your cue to go back to the quest board and jump right in. Playing with three or four people means no palicos. When you're playing Monster Hunter World well with other people, your palico basically acts as a squad filler, constantly making sure you're acting as a four-person group. So when you've got three or four players in your squad, unfortunately that means your palico has to stay behind. Again, the game doesn't tell you this, so I did have a mild panic that I'd somehow force my feline friend to stay behind and he'd hate me forever, but thankfully that's not quite the case. Everyone gets the rewards. Anything you gather within a quest, expedition or other Monster Hunter World mission is yours to keep and everyone else will be able to collect their own versions. So don't worry, there's no reward sharing here, it's all fair and square in Monster Hunter World. But that doesn't count for the items inside the supply box at any of the base camps. Quest specific items that you find inside are marked with a symbol that signifies they're for everyone. So don't go grabbing all those potions, rations and other useful consumables unless you're sure that no one else wants them. Everything's easier when you're in a squad. The easiest way to make sure you're playing with the people you actually want to is to start a squad. Your squad is basically your favourites list, letting you access your friends in Monster Hunter World much more easily. You can jump straight into a squad session search when you fire up the game, and then automatically join any of your other squad mates who are already playing. Or they can join you when they are online. Within a squad session, you'll quickly and easily be able to see any quests they posted that you can join too. You can even invite other people to a squad session, they just won't be part of your squad yet. Thankfully you can be a member of up to 8 squads which can hold up to 50 members each, meaning you can swap between different player groups easily as well. You're not limited just to those guys from work. And that's it! All the help you need to get online and take down those monsters with your friends. Let us know if you have any more online tips in the comments below, click the boxes on the left for more content from us, and don't forget to hit that big button in the middle to subscribe for more gaming news, reviews, previews and features right here on Game